June 28th, 2015. Wow, what a huge week that we had this week, you guys. Let's get into it. First up, the Supreme Court ruled that gay marriage is now legal in all 50 states in America. About damn time. And by my count, there should be a lot of people uh, getting divorces and moving to Canada about now. Maybe even one person setting themselves on fire, I think. I don't know. This doesn't affect me directly, but in my eyes, why not? Like, why would you not allow people to marry who they love? And from the arguments that I've heard, you know, it, it, it cheapens the sanctity of marriage. Okay, um, what about drive through weddings in Vegas? As long as you have two witnesses and, you know, a couple hundred bucks, yeah, you can get drunk and get married in Vegas. Is that not cheap in the sanctity of marriage? Because I don't hear the churches, you know, complaining about that. The argument that it's against your religion. Okay. Well, um, how about marriage isn't a religious constitution? Sure, it, it can be if you choose it to be, but traditionally it's not. There was marriage long before there was religion. Another argument I heard was that marriage should only be for having children, childbearing. Well, what about a woman that can't have kids or a man that's sterile? What about an older couple that are just, it's past their time? Are they not allowed to marry the person that they love because they can't have kids? I mean, again, like these aren't my arguments. Like that's, that's the arguments that I'm hearing against gay marriage. But I, I see no reason why two people should not be able to get married if they love each other. So, if, if there's a better argument out there than one that I've listed, then please let me know. Otherwise, shut up and let it happen. Just take it. I mean, just take it. Next up, let's talk about the Confederate flag. Now, this flag that you see here was, which is what we know as the Confederate flag today, was never really adopted until about 1948, but we'll get into that in just a minute. The original Confederate flag was this one that you see here, which was adopted in 1861, but looked a little bit too much like the flag of the North, so then in 1863, this flag was adopted here. Um, pretty boring. So a couple years later, <laughs> the South adopted this slightly less boring flag that just looks kind of weird. And those were the three official flags of the Confederate States of the South. Now, let's fast forward to about 1948 and the resurgence of the KKK, which also resurged this, the Confederate flag that we know today. Now, explain to me something. If, if the argument for this flag is that it honors and you know, it, it's in remembrance of the people that died in the Civil War from the, from the South. Then why not use one of the banners that flew while those battles were happening during those years? Why this? Why this flag? Now let's talk about this Confederate flag. As I mentioned, it didn't become popular until 1948 with the resurgence of the KKK. Now, I don't think I really need to explain what the KKK was all about, so, so, so why this flag? Why? I don't have a witty, sarcastic answer. I legit want to know why this flag. So let's talk about flying the flag to honor and remember the soldiers that died in that battle. Let's. Let's talk about that for just a second. Do you even know what they were fighting for? Do you know what caused the Civil War? To put it into perspective, what if I told you that I was going to war and what I was fighting for was to be able to molest children, rape women, and kill whoever I wanted. And if I die, my people die, I want you to fly my banner and remember me 
for what I was fighting for. Would you do it? No. Then why try to do it now? Because that's what they were fighting for. The Civil War was about owning slaves. The North was putting that to an end, and the South thought that they were the greatest capital product in America. So why would we want to give that up? They didn't want to. That's what caused the war. Don't take it from me. I got a quote for you. The battle flag was never adopted by the Confederate Congress, never flew over any state capitals during the Confederacy, and was never officially used by Confederate veterans groups. The flag probably would have been relegated to the Civil War Museums if it had not been resurrected by the resurgent KKK and used by Southern Dixiecrats during the 1948 presidential election. It is no accident that Confederate symbols have been the mainstay of white supremacist organizations, from the KKK to the skinheads. They did not appropriate the Confederate battle flag simply because it was pretty. They picked it because it was the flag of a nation dedicated to their ideals, that no Negro is equal to the white man. The Confederate flag, we are told, represents heritage, not hate. But why should we celebrate a heritage grounded in hate? A heritage whose self-avowed reason for existence was the exploitation and debasement of a sizable segment of its population. So I'm not going to have any shows this week. I'm taking some time off to write new material. So when I come back in a couple weeks, I'm coming back fresh. New stuff. July is going to be a huge month. We've got a couple competitions. Um, like I said, I'm going to have some new material. So I can't wait to get into it. So when I come back, I'm coming back hard. So thank you for watching. That's it for this week. And we'll see you next time.